Greetings, River Lady here, and welcome to Leap Day 2020. The pictures of the gardens you're looking at right now are actually from 2019, because if I showed you what my gardens look like at this moment, you'd be shocked. You'd say, River Lady, what's going on? Your gardens are a mess. And you'd be right. They're nothing but shades of brown with twigs and leaves strewn about. My hydrangeas, the poor little things, are still buried under partially frozen salt marsh hay. Mother Nature, even though she's given me a few warm days this month, has really held on with the bitterly cold weather. The ground is still partially frozen, and it's basically not a very good environment to get out and start working the soil. Plus, in my defense, I did have my left hip replaced at the beginning of February, so I really haven't been able to do much other than my physical therapy, sit in my chair, drink my tea, and dream of getting out and gardening this summer. The other thing that I was able to do, however, was look at some of the new perennials that are on the market for 2020. And I want to show you a few that I'll be adding to my gardens this summer once Mother Nature and my hip give me the green light. The first plant that I'll be adding to my perennial garden this summer is a tall phlox called Opening Act. It comes out of Walter's Gardens in Michigan and was created for proven winners. Now, the nice thing about this phlox, yes, it's mildew resistant, heat tolerant, humidity tolerant, but the great thing is that it opens about three weeks before traditional tall phlox open, which gives your garden a jump on this vibrant pink color. As with all tall phlox, opening act requires full sun. Next plant I'll be adding to my perennial gardens is another phlox called Kung Fuchsia, also out of Walter's Gardens, made for proven winners, a little shorter than opening act, where opening act comes to about 28 inches tall, Kung Fuchsia stops at about 18 inches, but it's still an early bloomer, mildew resistant, deer resistant, heat tolerant, a great addition to your perennial garden. Now I'm going to leave the realm of phlox and go into echinaceas. And the first echinacea that I'm going to add to my garden is Orange U Awesome which is also out of Walter's Gardens for Proven Winners. And I have to tell you, I cannot wait to see these vibrantly fiery orange flowers gracing my perennial gardens, as long as the rabbits leave them alone. These echinacea plants are deer resistant, but they're not rabbit resistant. Please someone make an echinacea that's rabbit resistant, please. My next echinacea is also in the fiery orange reddish family of colors and it's a new plant out of the distributors Plants Nouveau and it's called Fiery Meadow Mama and it comes to about 24 inches tall. As with all echinaceas, it needs full sun and the deep gold petals are highlighted by a halo of fiery red with a deep red comb to any rabbit who bites off these flower heads. The next echinacea on my list is Fatal Attraction out of Monrovia Nurseries. This plant has me very excited because this echinacea will bloom later in the season when most echinacea plants have already started to fade, thus giving your later season garden a pop of magenta color. The vibrant pink flowers grow on the top of wine-colored stems, and like all echinaceas, fatal attraction is humidity and heat tolerant and is deer resistant, but sadly, not bunny resistant. So, huh, I might lose my blossoms. The last plant on my wish list is a daylily, and it's out of Walter's Gardens, and it's called Double Pardon Me. If you're familiar with Pardon Me, that beautiful red daylily with the yellow center, which typically has six tepals, then you are going to love Double Pardon Me because you're going to be getting 16 to 18 tepals on those flower heads. This is a rebloomer, fragrant daylily. Give it full to part sun 
and watch the show. The plants that I mentioned in this video can be found at Bluestone Nurseries. If you follow my YouTube videos, you do know that I use Bluestone for my perennial flowers that I order online. This is not a paid service. I don't get any money from them. I just like their quality and I like giving them a shout out because I think they're one of the better companies out there. I'll provide a link in the description below. That does it for me. I thank you for watching this video on some new perennials for the 2020 season. I do hope that you'll follow and subscribe to my channel and happy gardening.